Katrina Adams enjoyed a superb career on the court, winning 21 doubles titles. Following retirement, Katrina has reached the most prestigious post in American tennis by becoming the first African-American and former pro player to lead the United States Tennis Association as president and CEO. Athlete and activist, Katrina Adams has always been the consummate team player and an iconic leader. And Katrina Adams talks about how she accomplished all of that in her new book, Own the Arena, which is released Tuesday, February 23rd. And with that, we welcome our good friend, my fellow Northwestern Wildcat, Kat Adams, to TC Live. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? Doing well, doing well. We will get to the book in a moment. First, uh, as a former big tennis executive, I want to ask you just how challenging you think it's been for Craig Tiley and his team down in Melbourne having to deal with what they're dealing with right now and keeping the Australian Open rolling. I mean, I can't imagine what they're going through. I know what Stacey Allister, the U.S. Open tournament director, and her team went through prepping for what we did here in New York. But under the circumstances of what they are are acquiring or handling there in Melbourne, particularly with the lockdown coming last night, is very challenging. I spoke to them a couple of weeks ago, and they're not sleeping a lot these days. Uh, the entire year of 2020 was such a challenge for everybody, but one positive thing that came out of it, we just saw the USTA announce yesterday, participation in our sport cat has skyrocketed, up 22% in 2020. Why do you think that is? Well, I wish it had something to do with me, but it doesn't. Um, listen, tennis is a socially distanced sport automatically, and, and it was the first sport that was approved here in the state of New York um, by the governor that, that, that could get back out on the court. People are on the opposite sides of the court. It's outdoors. And so people picked up a racket that hadn't picked up a racket in years. People that did play were eager to just get outside and get some fresh air and get some exercise during those first critical months here in New York. And so I'm excited to see that around the nation, the sport is booming again. So speaking of uh, increased participation, I didn't play much last year, but I just got to hit this morning and it got me going again that I'm going to play more. And guess who I play with today? It's a man that bid for the USTA Foundation to play tennis with me. We've been trying to play together for two years and we finally hit today. And we were talking about you. You know who I'm talking about, Dr. Kim Williams. Dr. Kim Williams, there we go. Awesome. Thanks, Martina. Yeah, he told me he's how a, he's he, a, he started with mine. it. He's in, yeah, he's a, he's a former coach of mine, one of my early coaches, so thank you. Yeah, he was, it was fun to play with somebody that knows how to play the ball, actually, play ball. Uh, but back to tennis, how do you think uh, Serena's chances are now for the 24th? I think she's embracing the 24th. She's talking about it. Everything seems to be lining up her way. What do you see her chances right now? Well, Martina, as you know, anytime Serena's in the draw, you can't count her out. But in looking at her this week, she looks healthy. She looks fit. She looks determined. She has a different mentality. Um, the way that she looks on the court, she's striking the ball well and moving well. So she definitely has a chance. I think it still will, will rely on how the draw uh, folds as they get into the later rounds. But each match that she plays going forward is going to be tougher and tougher. But I'm excited about her chances. Yep. Serena Williams certainly knows how to own the arena. Katrina, let's talk about your book. What inspired you to write your new book, Own the Arena? Really, it was others in telling me that I needed to write a book. I'm not one to toot my own horn, believe it or not. But when they said, let's write a book uh, with a leadership approach, then I was all for it. And it really, it really embraces what I've learned as a tennis player from the age of six on up that really developed a lot of my skills um, my confidence, my belief system, and just my work ethic to be able to move on from tennis into commentating and then into the business side that I held uh, at the USTA and beyond. Um, my passion for giving back with the Harlem Junior Tennis and Education Program, I talk about that a lot because it really is about instilling the qualities that I learned from a young person and now having a chance to give back now. So I'm, I'm really thrilled and excited. I think people are going to find some good nuggets in there. So nuggets, speaking of nuggets, I'm looking forward to listening to it. I've been listening to it on, on my, in my car when the book comes out. But what do you think we in, in the tennis world will find out from the book about you that we don't know? Uh, 
I, you know, I, I'm, I'm all about giving back. I think people know that, but I really talk about all the people's whose shoulders that I stood on to get to where I am today. We don't get to where we are by ourselves. And so it's really recognizing those before us, whether it's family, friends, coaches, educators, et cetera. Um, you know, we'll talk a little bit about private life somewhere in there as far as sacrifices are concerned as to what I went through as a professional athlete and what many of our other uh, colleagues have had to, to forego to have a professional career in tennis. But, um, you know, as much as there are a lot of things that are already in the public, there are a lot of things that people will say, wow, I didn't know that. So hopefully uh, you'll have to read it and find out. Well, I think it's great that you're giving credit to the shoulders that you've stood on. And it's amazing that now you are one of those people that other people will stand on your shoulder. So well done. Looking forward to reading the book. Yeah, Kat, they say you have to see it to be it. Now others can see you, and hopefully they'll be able to follow in your footsteps. Thanks, as always, for joining us here on Tennis Channel Live. And uh, stay safe. We'll hopefully see you soon. Thank you. And keep up the great work. I'm enjoying watching every minute of the, of the tennis. Thanks, Appreciate Kat. it, Kat.